Welcome to Lyme Time. I'm Allie from the Tick Chicks. We are all more than Lyme disease and chronic illness, and together we stand with you to overcome and rise. I'll bring you closer to the experts in cutting edge treatments and even a few unexpected ways of healing. I'll ask the questions you want answers to regarding Lyme disease and successful ways of getting you closer to 100%. We are in this together and will not be defined by Lyme. Today on Lyme Time, I am very excited to speak with my guest, Stephen Davis. He is a serial entrepreneur, a venture capitalist, seasoned inventor, and healthcare pioneer. He has a deep passion for mission-driven companies and organizations that seek to promote social good and greater access for all. And he is the founder of Free Medica, who has been around for a while, but they have two devices that I'm eager to speak to Stephen about today. One is called the Nikki, and the other is called the Nikki Plus Lime. And it's all about frequency therapy. So welcome, Stephen. Thank you. No, it's great to be here. Uh, well, let's start from the very beginning, as they say, and tell me how, uh, obviously, you are a jack of all trades and you have your hands in a lot of different piles. How did you get to focusing in on the healthcare industry? And then even after that, specifically more into the Lyme disease community? Well, we got involved with some frequency technology. I've been involved in the healthcare industry for about 20 years. And we started with some thermal imaging, and then we went to lasers. And then we went to a a program for balancing the brain using frequencies. And we had three clinics at that time. And it was great. But during that time, my daughter was really sick. And we chased things for eight years. Not even, Lyme wasn't even, I didn't know what Lyme was. And, but eight years into it, we discovered that every time she would come in and bring her into the clinic to use our technology that we use for balance of the brain, and she would find relief, but it would be short-lived. It would last a few weeks and then it would be, she'd be right back to where she was. But it opened up some thinking that frequencies might be a way to help her, not even knowing that it was Lyme. And so then I ran into a gentleman just at one of our events and he was telling me about he was telling somebody about a friend of his that inv- that was working on something to do with Lyme disease. And so I found this guy and he came over and tested my daughter and her two sons. And they both indicated that they had Lyme disease. So then we sent there, we decided to do a little trial and start playing with some technology. And we used Igenix to do the testing. And we started our program and, you know, three months later, my kids were symptom free, starting to live life to the full. My daughter couldn't work. She, my grandkids, one of my grandkids was diagnosed at a very young age to be autistic. The other grandson, he was ADHD off the charts. In fact, one of the schools, just before we started the trial, phoned my daughter and said that, you know, they're going to have to put him on Ritalin or something to calm him down in class, or he's going to have to move to a different school. And so we ran our program. And three months later, the school phoned my daughter and said, we need to be have on record the medication that you're using with your son. And she said, obviously, well, there is no medication. And he just changed his life. And it's, it's changed all of our lives. But we didn't even know it was Lyme. That's that was the unfortunate thing. You know, I went from doctor to doctor, and so did she. And we spent a lot of money in trying to find out what's wrong with her in the first place. And you know, it splits families. You know, half of our family thought it was just in her head, and it was me that said, "No, there's something more going on here." And so we just started digging. And I went to the University of Victoria. And that's where they did some tests for me, for my daughter. And that's, they came back and said, we think that she might have Lyme disease. And I said, what's Lyme disease? <laughs> like I had, wasn't even on our radar. After eight years, somebody tells us that it's Lyme disease. So anyway, we're happy as a family. Somebody's finally told us what might be wrong. And so we went down a path for a couple of years 
trying to overcome and with just no luck, like nothing was helping her. And, but once we started playing with the frequencies, running the trial and saw that she got better, it was, it was an incredible thing for our family. And she's only used our device for that period. She doesn't wear it continually. She does for other things, but not for Lyme. But she's been symptom-free for since 2016. That's and an incredible story. Wow. And how, how what, so you are, you are deeply ingrained in the Lyme disease community. And just even just, you know, understanding the journey, first and foremost, the confusion, all of the symptoms that go along with it. Also what a lot of allopathic doctors will throw your way. And I'm sure she had a tremendous amount of faith in you. And I'm sure that you um, gave her all the right tools to trying something out of the box. And although it, I, I don't know if it works the same way for all types of back, Lyme disease bacteria, we can get into that. But I just think that she's a very lucky person to have had you as her angel going through all of this and really having her back and supporting her. Since it's really hard for people to understand that don't actually have Lyme disease. So it's a passion project for you. But what it tell me about the science behind it. Have you always believed in frequency th uh, therapy? Have you had personal results from it? What's your connection with frequency? It would be when we started balancing the brain using a technology that was delivering frequencies that would bring back the communication that you need that's been broken in the brain. And we would bring that balance in. And when you've got a balanced brain, we would see all kinds of things correct, whether it was you, whether it was people that had had a stroke or schizophrenia or like it, it was it was just a powerful technology and it's still operating but it's operating in the states it wasn't a medical device and so the inventor got into a little bit of uh, discussions with the canadian go government mm -hmm. and decided not to continue on in canada canada is a small market for some of these companies and but that's where we first got started seeing that, wow, frequencies are pretty interesting. And we never even thought about it at the time, at the level that we're thinking about it today. It's totally different. Mm -hmm. I mean, People are starting to pay attention to this. <laughs> that's right. And we don't, what we learned with Lyme is you can't send one frequency in the body to correct something. With Lyme disease, we're sending 74 frequencies into the body at exactly the same time in order to correct not only the Lyme, to, because now it can't hide. There's no place for it to hide from us. And we also start dealing with all of the co-infections. And it's really hard to deal with the co-infections. At least that's what we discovered. If you don't deal with the Lyme first, mm. you need to deal with the Lyme. And then the co-infections you can start to deal with. But before that, you can't because it's mainly because of the Lyme that the co-infections exist because your immune system has been so compromised that it allows other things to come in and start attacking the body. Okay, and so we'll get into the device. That That's a great segue because people don't, I've been familiar with Free Medica for a long time. And I often over the years have gotten questions about the original, what I call the original device that was so much bigger and people always were asking me, have you personally used it? Have you tried it? What do you think about it? And I, of course, had, by the time I was really involved in Lyme disease work, I was pretty much symptom free. And so I hadn't tried it. And so I couldn't say either way, but I had also heard many people say they had positive results from that original device. So for, and for people that don't know visually what it's like, it looks like an Apple watch, basically. It's that big and it's that shape and it's got a little strap that comes with it and a charger. And you basically are very easily with just one touch to click on whatever symptom you may be experiencing or wanting relief from, or for instance, you might just need some energy for four hours or something like that. I don't think you wear it continuously. You probably just put it on during the day or some, <clears throat> there's 
maybe an, a time limit on that. And then uh, you can switch uh, to, you know, to all sorts of different settings. So that's basically what it looks like. But how is the regular Nikki device now different from the Nikki plus Lime? Is it just more options that you have? Well, here's how where we started. So this device here is the Wave 1. And this is where it starts. There's no screen. There's nothing on it. It's just a program to help people overcome Lyme disease. And it runs for some people have wore these for years because I, I wore mine every day. I've never had Lyme disease, but doctors started coming back to us and telling us stories about how the inflammation markers have dropped drastically. Mm. And they've never seen inflammation markers drop like that with anything else that they've used. And so when I started hearing that, because we were dealing with Lyme disease and I've never had Lyme disease, but I started wearing it because inflammation, I believe, is one of the precursors to all disease. Right. And so I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to start wearing my own tech, even though I don't have Lyme disease. But one of the issues with this, with this product is there's just no visual. It's very difficult. You have to go to your computer to activate and do different things, to change up programs. And... With the Nikki, this here device is just simpler. You've got more options. You can you can see what you're choosing. And so if you do, if you are feeling like at about three o'clock in the afternoon, I might throw on energy just to give me a little bit of an energy boost. And I'm not making my body, doing something in the body to energize it. All I'm doing is bringing some energy to my brain. I'm waking up my brain because I'm tired at three o'clock. I've gone through the day and I'm starting to just slow down a bit. And so I wake up the brain, but what we discovered is when you wake up the brain, it energizes your body. And so it works extremely well uh, when you need a little energy boost. But the Lyme program is just better on the Nikki. Like this here worked great, but it was limited in functionality. Now we've, uh, we've removed that. And a lot of people had thought that, oh, well, we abandoned the Lyme program because we, uh, we, we, we switched from this to the Nikki, and we didn't. The Lyme program is very front and center in our company. That is a very big focus for our okay. company is supporting the Lyme program. And this particular device, you can run your program, and it only takes, when, you, when, you, when you're at the full capacity, it's a two-hour program. And so when you're done that, you can pick any other program that you want, whether you need some energy, whether you're going to sleep. This is a fantastic product for helping you sleep. And so what makes us different from everybody else is our approach with technology. We learned dealing with Lyme disease that you can't deal with one, one frequency at a time or one pill at a time to overcome something. You can't do it. And so we took what we learned from Lyme and started applying that to other issues. And we're having profound results. And I just think it's a different approach that we've, we're, we're coming into the marketplace and we're giving variety for people to choose because everybody's different. So <clears throat> kind of elementary question here. When you speak of frequency, are you speaking of... I mean, you can't hear the thing. So I know it's not a sound frequency, I don't believe. Uh, what kind of wavelengths are you talking about? Well, they vary. And what we've learned is how to stack frequencies. So you'll note that on the back of this, there's a little red light. And there's a lot of red light technology out in the marketplace. And they're using that red, that color, the frequency from that color, and they pulse it at different rates to cause different effects in the body. That's not what we do. We use red light. We can use white light, like Dr. Klinghart says, hey, you're going to get the same response from a white light versus a red light. Hmm. Because we load up the frequencies from his perspective in the water barrier right underneath the skin. And we achieve the same result. The red light to us just carries our frequencies in deeper so we touch more cells faster, which produces results quicker. It's not always the best thing for Lyme disease, but for all other things, it is. But it does do a very good job when you have Lyme disease. You're going to herx. Sometimes you're just going to herx. And that's, that's an indication that 
you know, we're moving in the right direction. Some people don't hurt at all. I, I don't see kids hurting at all. I like, we don't know. I don't even understand exactly that process. Now, you know, I'm not a doctor. I was just a desperate dad. And mm -hmm. I stepped into a, a world of Lyme out of desperation to help my help my kids. And so, but what we've learned is, I think, you know, I wasn't put in a box to start with. And so we just approached it in a, in a open, in a, in a open way and discovered some things that are working for many things. So the Nikki uh, device and the Nikki plus Lyme is different in, in terms of how many frequency sets you offer. Um, no, it's the type of frequency sets we offer. And so like in our sleep program, there's 202 different frequencies that run at exactly the same time in your body. And that's where we get the very good results. That's incredible. So for also, for those of you who aren't familiar with this device, some of the frequency settings, so these are the buttons you can push uh, as you need them, but one is for stress and anxiety. Another one is for energy. Another is for insomnia. Another is for allergies. Another, which I love, is the travel option for days that you're busy or maybe up in the air, that kind of thing. Uh, there's an immune boost. There's, um, there's a virus and bacteria, which is also something I'm very interested in. So um, also you can do settings, I guess, morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime. I, I had one of these for a very limited time because as I was explaining to Stephen, I, I accidentally lost mine during the losing Lyme retreat a few months ago. And I was wearing it and I was just so excited about this device. Um, but I had only had it for about 30 days. And something about wearing this and being able to pick and choose how I needed to wear it all different days. It's not like I have, to, it's not like a set program, which I liked. I liked the idea that I could just uh, tap into something else as needed because every day is different and you don't know how you're going to be able to use it. And I really, really enjoyed it. And during, uh, I, this is a really long story, but I had to get a major dental work done and I knew I was going to need to relax in the dental chair because I was going to be there for hours. And this happened like three times. So it was an extensive situation. And I would put that on to, um, deal with my stress and anxiety and create myself a, a sense of calm. But as a result of that, I got a little, um, because of, I think the stress of it, it triggered a mild case of shingles. And that is when I really turned on the, you know, bacteria and viruses setting. Yeah. And I was like, sort of depending on this thing because I needed my energy in a, a few weeks after that to do the actual, I, I hosted the Lyme conference. So, or the retreat. So Anyway, I, I used it a lot in those 30 days, and I just really um, enjoyed having it, having it there. It's very non-invasive. It doesn't make any sound, but you definitely see the light come on and you know that it's working. And it's very easy, easy to charge into any, um, any uh, electrical socket. You don't have to put it into your computer or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's an on its own device. So I really enjoyed it personally. And um, I wanted to know, um, so as these frequencies are sort of going into, I guess your, their, their pulse, their, it's not pulse red therapy, but it's, 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 it is a, it is a red light therapy of sorts, I guess you could say, but it's just blinking at, or it's operating at a certain frequency. And as we are all learning, frequencies are, are, well, at least from what I'm learning, it's, uh, it's a way of understanding your body on such a different level. I mean, you can go to doctor after doctor and they're trying to treat your, your symptoms, but if you understand what frequencies your body needs, it's a whole other, it's a game changer. 
and it's it can be used in conjunction with everything. So getting back to my question, I wanted to know um, how you see this frequency helping somebody with Lyme disease specifically um, on a day-to-day -day basis and how long, I know you're not a doctor, but how long you think the average person needs to wear this and should, be, should they be wearing it for 24 seven? Well, it's, that's not the way that our program works. First off, the way that, the, the way that we can approach this to begin with is we looked at the body and we thought the best place to penetrate the body is through the skin. And so that was, that was the, so using light. The second thing was your cells, they've been designed to retain low energy light. And so when they, when we pick it, they pick up our light, all we're doing is bringing back the communication that's been broken. And so we're recreating those pathways. So the immune system wakes up to the issue. Like we don't understand why the immune system doesn't go and correct things sometimes. But if you wake it up and show it, it's like it doesn't see it. And you wake it up and it goes and deals with it. And so everything we do is through the immune system because that's 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 where you need to be effective is with the immune. Otherwise, you're treating symptoms. And we're not treating symptoms. We're finding the weakest point in the body and we're going and we're correcting that. And then you can correct everything else. And so it's we start from the bottom up, not from the top down. And that's that seems to be extremely effective for us. But frequencies, they're just communication. That's all we're doing. We're not putting anything in the body that could do any harm. We're just bringing communication back to where it was meant to be in the first place. Is this safe for children? Absolutely. We I... can do no, we can do no harm. It is information only that we put into the body. And does and so when you're waking up the immune system, are you actually communicating therefore with the brain as well? So are you are those signals going to the brain or are they more localized? No, the, those signals go where the need is. So it's based on the frequencies that we have. You wake up the immune system and it's like, okay, I'm going to go over to that part of the brain and correct something, or I'm going to go down somewhere else to correct something. And so we just wake it up and to the issues that the body's facing that the immune system seems to be ignoring. And what what is your answer to the fact if you get asked about, you know, there's a lot lot out there right now about EMFs yeah. and uh, you know, could this ever be uh, something that might be detrimental to some people that might be sensitive to EMFs? EMF people are sensitive, sensitive to EMF and what we did, and we're the only product that I'm aware of that you can even do this. But when you turn your Nikki on, there's a, there's another spot that you can hit and it turns off your Bluetooth. So it turns off the Wi-Fi access and which eliminates the EMF from having any potential of touching your body through this device. And so that's one of the nice features that we put on here is you, once you download the frequencies that you want to run, then you disconnect from all Wi-Fi. So it, it'll never produce any kind of EMF into the body. And you, you can't do that with, a, with a, an Apple Watch. Because if you turn off the Wi-Fi, you turn off accessibility of the functionality of the device. And so we've got something, we, we've looked at this because, and we may not have looked at it if you weren't dealing with people that have Lyme disease, because they're way more sensitive. Mm. And so that's our approach. And so we're just finding that when you deal with the care that we do with people with Lyme disease, it has a ripple effect for people that don't because those same results we're being, we're able to bring that technology that's providing something that nobody else has been able to provide that I'm aware of, unless you catch Lyme really, really early, you can put Lyme to sleep, like eat really well, change your diet and you can put the spirochet, you can put this to sleep. You won't, you're not getting rid of it, but you're getting some relief from the problems that it's causing. But if you go off that diet, it's going to wake up and you're going to have that same problem again. It's just a matter of time. And that's on anything.
whether it's an antibiotic or whatever it is, if you, once you go off them, you'll notice that you don't, you start to, some people are on these stints and stuff for like for years because they would rather have that, the symptoms from that than the symptoms from Lyme. Mm. And it's just not the best approach. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of the Lyme. Your symptoms go away. So if I turn off the Bluetooth feature on the Nikki, I can wear it safely all night while I sleep for the insomnia. That's right. That's right. You can wear it all the time. Will cause no harm. I mean, it's it's just such a, a great breakthrough and uh, so easy to use. I can't stress that enough. And can you tell me a little bit about sort of the science behind this? I know that people will ask me, which I don't know, um, you know, and I'm sure that there are some great published research articles that go along with frequency therapy and treating things as specific as Lyme disease. Well, we capture our frequencies. And so, and for the most part, there were well, their plant-based um, frequencies that we're capturing and the combination of what we capture and how we put them together then we just load it on top of light and send it into the body the technology is just free plant-based frequencies put in together in a very special way and then delivered in a very special way and when i mean special it's just effective we're very effective with what we do and so when you say plant-based what does that mean exactly well, it's no different than you go and get a tincture or you go and get a supplement that's plant-based. It's just that the, 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 the frequencies that are in those products come from plants. That's all. And everything's a delivery system. This is a really interesting point because, you know, you take a supplement, a supplement's just delivering a frequency. It's just a, it's a delivery system. If you take a cream with CBD in it or something, it, the cream is just the delivery system for that CBD frequency. Just like our light is our delivery system for the frequencies that we put together. And so all of these things out there in the, in the world that are helping people heal, they're all frequency-based already. It's not like we're doing something new. We're just doing something better. Mm -hmm. And it ha just has more effect. Can somebody use the Nikki or the Nikki plus Lyme for other chronic conditions? Or let's just say somebody is even healthy, like you said, um, is it fine for anybody to use? Absolutely. The, the healthy remain healthy. And so it just keeps your frequencies going the way they're supposed to. Your immune system operates the way it's supposed to operate when you're healthy. If you have good communication in the body, you have relatively good health. Think of the world. Everything is based on communication. That's how we think here. And if you look outside the body, look at the world today. Bad communication, bad world. Mm. <laughs> like the communication is bad out there. And so nobody knows exactly what's going on. And same with the body. You've got all these cells. They need to be communicating properly. If you've you know, I took an anthill, a giant anthill. And if you look at ants, they're climbing over each other. They're all going 90 miles an hour in every direction that you can think of. And it looks chaotic, but it's not. They're operating by way of frequency. They all have a job and they know exactly what they're doing. And that's how they communicate. If you go and kick that, that anthill, you cause disruption. You broke up the communication. And so they frantically go over to work trying to rebuild that communication. And that's no different than within our body. Bad communication, bad health. And so let's bring back good communication to the cells. So they're communicating the way they were meant to communicate and we feel better. Right. I, I understand that very clear. I'm a, I'm a big believer in um, any kind of pulse therapy or even sound therapy, sound frequencies um red light it just seems to bring it all together into one space um in a weird way and and it's something that you can wear about your daily life and and keep changing and i do i do really believe in 
energy. We are only energy ourselves. So sometimes those connections just get blocked for some reason within our body. And, and this is a great device to wake it up, like you said. Now, I noticed that you um, also offer a podcast for bioenergetics. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about that and how it sets itself apart from a regular uh, health podcast? Well, what we're doing with, with bioenergetics is the idea behind it was to open a, open a venue that all frequency technologies have a home to come and tell their story. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about us. People need to understand what frequencies are. And once they start understanding that, you know, when they drink their orange juice, they're getting their frequency out of that orange juice. When they take a vitamin, they're getting the frequency from that vitamin. And once they understand that, it becomes easier for them to find the right product to do what, what, what they're looking to have done in their life. You know, we're not a silver bullet. We don't solve every issue, but we continue to build frequency sets and we will continue to launch those frequency sets that just continue to help people overcome issues that they face on a daily. And, you know, one of the interesting things, there's a lot of wearables out there that track. Throw on your Apple and they're going to track your heart. Throw on a Fitbit, they're going to tell you how many steps you take. And then there's all the no-name brands that are out there. Like it's, there's a lot of wearables out there that are telling you what's going on in your body. We come into the scene and we correct what's going on in the body. And so what people are doing is they're taking their Fitbits and their Apple Watches and their Aura Rings and they can see if they get good sleep. Mm. And so all of those products, if you've got one of those, they will validate ours because they improve. And so that's, a, that's very encouraging for us because a lot of people have these wearable technology and they're seeing that, wow, this is making a difference. And it's so really, it's really so much about cell communication at the end of the day and getting those as healthy as we possibly can by doing a variety of, of different things. So, so, you know, frequency therapy is, is just such a, such a great support for, for really everyone. And I'm just wondering what frequency would you recommend to somebody experiencing brain fog because that's the very big symptom in the Lyme disease community. Well, the Lyme, <laughs> the frequencies within the Lyme program deal with brain fog. And so we haven't launched an individual package yet for brain fog, but these are, these are all, these are all coming. Okay. And that's why the Nikki is so important because it's that flexible you have choice with Nikki. And I think that that's really important where the wave one is great and you can still have choice. It's just not as easy to access it. Sure. And so we're getting the same, if not better results with the Nikki and it's just way more convenient and it's with less money. I mean, we started with this product at $2,500. That was the original price. And we sold more at $2,500 than we have at any other price point. And, but my goal, because I go to these Lyme support groups and people are struggling, not just with Lyme, but financially. And so my goal was, okay, we got to get the price down. we got to get the price down. And so we got it down to 1500 and now we've got it down to, you can buy a Nikki, get all the programs with Nikki and the Lyme program for nine nine ninety nine or a thousand dollars. And so we continue to try and get it down because our focus is your health not our bank account. And we know that if we focus and do it right with you and get you healthy, our bank account will be healthy. And so those are the communication lines that we work within as a company. That's we great. Care. And that's wonderful. I can feel, I can feel your compassion for the community. Definitely. And, um, and let me ask you when you purchase one of the devices, uh, and they, and then you come up with maybe another bundle or something like that. Are you able to connect it to the device I already own, or would that be an add-on later with another device? How, how does that work? Oh, no, you, we, you get a code, you'll end up getting a list of different frequency sets that you would like, just like you see in the platinum. 
But there will be other programs that will be coming out this year, later this year, when it could be with sports and students and kids. And like, it's, it's pretty limitless when you're dealing with frequencies because everything vibrates. And we know that if you want to get healthy, we need to get the right vibration, the right communication within your cells for that to be, for that to happen. Mm -hmm. It's, it's interesting. I would, I would encourage anybody to really go onto the Nikki website and really uh, look into sort of the science behind this. And because I think the challenge is that you have to wear it in order to really see the results. And some people don't, they can't see the results. You know, I'm, I'm flashing quotation marks because they can't, you know, it's not like um, they can go in for an IV treatment and they see it going into their body and they know that, okay, let's hope that this is doing something, you know, frequency therapy is in, invisible. So, so I would just encourage everybody to get into the science before, before, uh, you know, going down this road, because you will be so shocked and surprised how much this can be an aid to, to really anybody and in everybody's overall wellness. It's, it's really pretty incredible stuff. I want to just add to that. I only wore my Nikki for about 30 days because I lost it. <laughs> so I'm getting another one, but but uh, it wasn't because, um, I, in fact, I was very sad. I made an announcement at the Losing Lime retreat and some of the girls help, were helping me find it, but I, I couldn't find it. It fell out of uh, my husband's pocket, as it were, when he was uh, making the, the walk to the other building. So, but I was very, very diligent about using uh, the Nikki device and I just uh, found it very easy to wear easy to take off and put on if I got in the shower or anything like that it was just always by my side and I couldn't I couldn't love it anymore so thank you very much is there anything else you'd like to add to our Lyme disease uh, community out there any final thoughts any tips uh, anything like that I would there's one thing that I, one question that I get asked a lot what makes us different than a ripe machine or any other technology that's out there trying to overcome Lyme disease? I believe that frequency medicine, I, that's, that, that is so exciting to see the way it's starting to move in the marketplace. It's always been there. It just hasn't been viewed that way. And the view is being shifted. And we're, so I love all frequency technology. What separates us is focus. So when we were working on the Lyme program, that's all we worked on. It was just Lyme. And so we were very focused where if you're with Rife, you know, there's lots of things that they that they focus on. And so there's so they've got a they've got a big toolbox with lots of tools, but there's nothing really focused on the individual. You can't treat with one frequency an issue. You mm. need you need you need an arsenal of frequencies to come in to correct issues. And that's what we discovered with Lyme. Now we're applying that same discovery to general wellness and it's working. And we think it'll get applied to even more than general wellness down the road. At one day, one day you're gonna see this as a mainstream. It's mainstream today, mm -hmm. just don't know it. They look at it as a pill, not a pill delivering a frequency. Great, great final thoughts. And everybody can access this by website, and it is wearenikki.com. Is that correct? Wearenikki.com? We are nikki.com. We, oh, I'm sorry. We are nikki.com. That's right. And, and it Nikki, does look like that, though. <laughs> in my eyes. Um, but Nikki is spelled N I K K I. So we, we are nikki.com. And you can find all sorts of information and the podcast and the science and the differences between each wearable. And Stephen, I just want to thank you so much. Thank you for your, your passion and compassion for even starting this company. And I do, I do believe that in the very near future, this is going to be really just a basic, you know, baseline for it getting anybody to feel better. And so I appreciate your time with us today and uh, everybody go out and buy a Nikki. <laughs>
And if there's anybody out there that puts together Lyme support groups, that's where we started. That's where my passion is, is to come in and help the people that they're searching. Mm. They're looking for somebody, somebody that can step up with a story that can maybe shed some light and help them. Well, we can do that. Thank you so much, Stephen. I appreciate Thanks, it. Kevin. We'll You're see welcome. you. Bye. Bye. Get a special discount code for the Nikki wearable device at thetickchicks.com.